So I have been working recently on a bunch of virtual choir pieces. And as part of the process, I will create a piano track, then I'll send it to the director, and the director will put in the tempo changes that they want. So retards, accelerandos, things like that. The challenge though is I need to get those tempo changes back into my project so that I can keep going building the rest of the tracks and editing them together. And this can be a little bit tricky uh, to get data from one uh, tempo map over into the other. I wanna show you a quick way to do it though. Here's my original piano file that I played in. And then I'm gonna open the logic file that he sent back without closing. And he obviously has better plugins than I do. But uh, what you'll notice here is uh, he's got a retard built in on the end here. Now this is, the retard is built exactly the way that he wants to do it. And I don't wanna have to go back in and try to recreate this in my project. Well, I can actually copy and paste this over uh, as a list. I'm gonna come up here, open my window, and you'll see that every tempo change in the whole piece is indicated uh, here as, a, uh, uh, as an item of data. So I can just grab, copy, and then go back to my original project. It'll reload those plugins. I'll go to the tempo map here, and then I will just paste it. And it will replace, uh, it, will, it will actually add all of his new tempos, which means if I have a duplicate tempo, I've gotta get in here and delete it. And then it should line up with uh, the rest of the piece. I can go in here and check, and I can see that Sure enough, there's his retard built into my song. So now, uh, this will work, by the way, for even small changes in the middle of a piece. You can just copy and paste that small section, whatever you need, but you can move tempo data between projects by copying and pasting directly from the tempo list. Hope this is helpful. Best of luck with whatever you're working on.